Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are doing well. Today we have yet another team of the season plus objective player to get. And today's player we are going to be looking at none other than Pedro Goncalves, as you guys can see from the screen thumbnail and title, guys. So in today's video we are going to be discussing about this particular player his stats his in-game stats his stats on the card whether it's overrated or underrated whether he's good in the positions that he's supposed to be good at uh, what his alternate positions are his stats his playstyle pluses all those good things and then uh, we will actually put him in a game in a squad build a squad around him or i have a squad already you know that i'm using to complete this so i'll just Put him in that squad and we'll see whether he's good at those positions whether he's good uh whether his stats are actually true to the stats that are on the card or it's overrated or underrated now before we get into this video i just want to tell you guys something which is massive 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 because as you guys can see there i don't know if you guys can see that but we have 108 packs saved and all these packs are going to be open once uh, team of the season La Liga drops as soon as La Liga drops I'm gonna start recording this video on my twitch channel which I'm streaming live on pretty much every single day so I'm gonna be recording part by part and I'm gonna be putting it on this very channel so make sure you guys hit that subscribe button so that you get notified every time I post a part of this video because it's 108 packs and I'm probably gonna get more so I'm gonna post part by part it's not going to be all 108 in the same video because it'll be boring you guys will get bored looking at my face for a long time uh now something great about this player is his his stats which is pretty insane i would say because if you guys look at the stats he has 90 pace 91 shooting 90 passing 92 dribbling 82 defense and 80 physical you guys know that i'm a big stamina merchant because i love stamina i don't like going to my squad and team management and changing players mid game so 99 stamina is something that i'm looking forward to now what i'm most most excited about is his his curve and his finishing because he has only 88 curve but he has 93 finishing guys so from left wing position will he be able to overcome nicholas beste because he is the best left wing i've got in my team so far nicholas beste i've even upgraded him using the torch evolution so will pedro goncalves be able to you know take that position from beste because beste i don't have any chemistry on him because he gets maximum one chem from somebody so that is it will pedro goncalves be good so yeah let's look at it this is the team that I used to complete uh, Pedro Concalves and I'm actually liking this card. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just make one small change, bring in Bowen and then just keep this squad and use this squad as my uh, rival squad and just see how it is. I might bring out Bruno and put in some, you know, higher rated player. But I, I, I am actually enjoying that squad so far. Even Bruno Fernandez is not that bad. I just don't want to lose chemistry. Oh, Kobe Manu. He can be played at Cam. What? Oh, I did not know that. Okay, sure. Copy menu. It's the game time. Okay, this is the squad we're going to be using. I don't know why I have Bernardo Silva at 92 evolution, but I don't know when I did this. I think I, when I started playing this game, this evolution was been out. So I must have done that that time. And he's just been sitting in my squad. So I thought, okay, I'll just put him to use and, you know, get the chemistry over here. So I am not going to be using any chemistry style on him just yet uh, just let these all you know boosted chemistry do its wonders and see how it is maybe if he's gonna be in my main squad then i'll use him uh, use a chemistry style on him unless and until i'm not just gonna waste my beautiful consumables on it because i have i have to open those 108 packs to get some stuff guys so i'm just gonna let it be and let's go test him out the main thing that we're gonna be testing out are his pace his pass his cross his dribbles uh and then what else do we need to test we'll try to test his defense but usually doing player review videos it's hard to do testing on you know the defensive stats especially so we'll just do these uh higher rated testings which is pace passing crossing shooting and dribbling and stuff i don't know why i just did that but yeah 
it, it happens, it happens. But yeah, let us go. That for me is the area that's key today. Hey, you know what? Goncalves, even though it says only 90 pairs, he runs a bit too good. And look at that shot. If he would have had a little bit better shooting, guys, this is what I've been telling about the past few player reviews. They all have like 85, 87, uh, 84, or 86, even 88. If they would touch 90 or 92, I'm pretty sure those shots are going in, guys. The dip would be there. The proper, you know, the 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 way they shoot will be different. All those things matter when it comes to shot par. That is why I keep telling these. Nice. I mean, so far, Goncalves has good, um, you know, I'm just going to call him Pedro. It feels weird to call him Goncalves. But Pedro has good passing. He has good dribbling as well. So, I am not complaining. I mean, it is a free card. And you just have to complete uh, five games to get the player. So far, so good. Stab. I would say pace is a bit higher than what is uh, given on the card because of the full chemistry boost, maybe. His crossing could be a bit better. That is one thing that I've noticed. And one more thing that I've noticed is my players are not doing what... Oh! Oh! That was a good shot, you know, from Goncalves. Not bad, not bad. I would definitely suggest, obviously, you guys complete this card. Like I say in all these videos, if you guys don't even use the player, they are going to be good uh, additional fodder for you guys because it is that time of the year where someone is going to leave the club for example marco rice let's say marco rice comes on uh, comes as sbc and you guys don't have enough players and you might be needing that 190 rated player whom you just have to put and you'll get the marco rice card pedro can be that player even if you don't even those who have started playing uh, fc24 recently you guys can use this guy to build your team play games win games and then open packs and maybe get lucky get a better left wing or left midder a left midder left midfielder it will be easy for you guys so definitely do complete all these uh, free cards that you're getting and make sure you guys go check out the previous player review which was for gate in Tine, i think uh, the female uh, french league player because that card is also really good and you just have to come uh, put in a 90 i mean 83 rated squad so I would definitely recommend you guys go watch that video as well because that is a really good video. And yeah, is this objective uh, a, a dub? Maybe, maybe not. It depends on how you play, isn't it? So yeah, I would definitely suggest you guys complete this. It's easy to do. I did it like in an hour. So yeah. I'll see you guys in the next video. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Hope you guys like the video. I'll make sure you guys subscribe to it. If anybody is watching till the end, make sure you guys leave a comment. Uh, what? Just type Manchester United. Yeah. Or MUN. Or anything about Manchester United. Whether you hate the club, whether you like the club, what do you think about the manager, all that stuff. I'll let you guys know. <laughs> I will definitely get back to you in the comments. But yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Hopefully, the next one will be La Liga Tots pack opening. I have no clue when it's going to be out. But yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then, take care, stay safe, stay motivated. Keep smiling. Bye-bye.